everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Birthday Dad. How you doing today? So glad you're here joining me. Man, I'm old. So old. One foot in the grave, this guy. Don't buy green bananas old. That's how old I am. Don't ask, okay? I won't tell. Last day with the mustache as well, so just soak it in. I've got so much shit on it right now because it's getting so gross and long. So I just, people are like, don't touch it. I, it's just, I have to if it's crooked and shit. It just bugs me. Anyway, for my birthday, it's birthday snark time. And you know who my favorite people to snark on are. Daiquiri D's Nuts. It's not the beginning of the 12 days of Daiquiri D's Nuts. That's going to be in December. I'm probably going to, you know, one day, skip a day, one day. Because i got to write Christmas songs for every single one of those days. So i got to take a break in between and talk about other people. Lots of people snark on in December. Very excited about Snarkmas. Make sure you head over to my merch store. Get your Snarkmas Christmas sweater. It is dope AF. And that's one way you can support this channel. You can also join the membership here. And on Fridays, we do the old wheel of spin. In December, everybody who is a member is on the wheel. For the whole month of December, I'm giving away 25 prizes. 25! It's going to be fire. Anyway, let's snark on these a-holes, shall we? Okay. It's a good day. Wifey is currently off getting my birthday presents that were shipped to the place. I'm getting a stacked breakfast hash. I don't know if you guys have stacked in the US, but we have a restaurant called Stacked. It's just breakfast. And their breakfast hash, the one I'm getting, it's amaze balls. So it's got potatoes, okay, and it's got corned beef hash, bacon, two eggs on top with hollandaise all over it, like all over it, like or hollandaise on my body. That's what I'm saying. That's how much I love hollandaise. And I'll be able to eat like this much of it. But I'll eat it for like days. It's so good. Anyway, it's a good day. Wifey's... I might have seen boobs. <laughs> Just kidding. My wife's gonna kill me. Anyway, let's get to the snark. It. They did a Thanksgiving video that is over an hour long. So you know we're gonna be skipping. Because probably she's peeling potatoes or some shit for half an hour. So... Let's get to it. Hi, everyone. Hi! <laughs> Stop laughing. Alicia and Josh Doherty with the Doherty Dozen. <laughs> my wife might have made this for me for my birthday. <laughs> Day in the life of a mom and dad to 12 kids on, on Thanksgiving. But first, coffee. But first... Therapy. All right, here's breakfast. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit, whoever's working at Dunkin' today didn't give a shit. <laughs> the icing on some of those. They're like, whatever, F off, it's Thanksgiving. Damn Doherty donuts, buying donuts for breakfast every day. That's gross. Stop eating donuts for breakfast. These guys eat more donuts for breakfast than police officers in the 80s. A dozen donuts. Um, two dozen bagels, some fun fancy cream cheese. Okay, so there's nobody there yet. There's no reason that every child needs more than one bagel each for breakfast, okay? That's what you have. You have 12 kids. It's 24 bagels. We all know that you're not eating, Alicia, okay? So you need two bagels per kid plus two donuts per kid for breakfast? What is going on in your brain? Stop it. You just love to waste. It's such a weird thing. It is not a flex to waste food, okay? Stop wasting food! Cheeses and bacon. I'm still cooking more bacon, but yeah. And orange juice. Harley was the first one up today at 5.30 a.m. asking... Did you even toast that bagel lady? You just gave him straight dry bagel? That should be illegal. If her cousins... It's just a crock on the floor. It's just a crock. Sitting there. We're here yet. Dash was our second kid up. You should not feed your children donuts for breakfast. I'm sorry. I, I don't care if it's Thanksgiving. They're gonna be debaucherous the whole day, and you're like, I could get. You know what? I'll give you this pass on Thanksgiving. Okay, maybe Christmas. F sure, I get that. I understand, right? Vacation, sure. But they they get donuts just on a Wednesday if it's Tuesday. 
Oh, it's Thursday? Let's eat some bullshit. It's every day. Thanksgiving. Harley <clears throat> woke you up. Yeah, she's really excited for Thanksgiving. We've been up since 5.30. Zoe wanted me to get her up at 7, so I'm going to go do that. All right. Notice how she doesn't film getting Zoe up in the morning. Mm, interesting. Interesting. Zoe probably has told her, you are not waking me up. Don't film me. Stop filming me. What is in the... What is over there? What is that? Is that an ice maker? What is that? Someone tell me what that is. You do not need to put a tablecloth at and your table. What happened? It's I find it so crazy that this woman will buy literally every child a new iPhone, will buy Kona trucks galore, will buy thousands of dollars for sh just bullshit, but has a table from my childhood. <laughs> okay, like is is it keeping up appearances to say that we're poor, but in the same video you're like, but in the same channel you're buying fifteen thousand dollars worth of phones for your kids? I don't get it. I don't understand her, her logic as far as like what matters to them. Clearly, what matters to them is just hoarding bullshit. Go get nice shit, then. You can afford it. Um, I've gotten a bunch of these tablecloths. You've gotten a bunch? I'll allow it. This is a two pack? It's gotten a word. Gotten, North American past participle of get. All right, it's in the dictionary. All right. I mean, you could have said I've purchased or I bought. I bought. I did not realize these were a two-pack. Oh, uh, yeah. score! That messed up your OCD, does it? Yeah, I guess I have plenty of tablecloths. Actually, that's good. I'll put them on a deep fry table. Deep frying table. They literally have a deep frying table. Like, back in the day, we used to care if our house was, like, perfectly clean or not before guests came. And now we don't care at all. Because Clearly, you have rotten bananas over there, lady. If you're going to judge me because my house is cluttered because I have 12 kids, then don't come over. <laughs> That's nice. What? <laughs> okay. So we don't give a shit about our guests. I mean, every normal human being, when you have guests come over to your house, generally, if you're having guests, you clean up, right? That's not... Like, I understand what you're saying. Like, hey, we have 12 kids. You video yourself cleaning all the time. So you can clean for your guests. That's just kind of like, that's kind of shitty. So I'm saying like we clean our home if we have people coming over because, hey, look, welcome to our home. We don't want you to feel uncomfortable. If you're walking to someone's house and it's a nasty piece of shit mess. You're like, oh, thanks. It's like a, it's like an it's like you're my honored guest. We wanted to make our house look great for you. It's not for me. It's for you. So it just goes to show how far she's come along. Money does not make people better or more humble. It makes them worse assholes. That's what it does. Because before when you were humble. You're like, yeah, we'd love to, you know, my house is clean. I'd love to have you come over. Now she's like, F off. Okay, I'm rich. You don't like it? Suck my white ass. That's as simple as that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can't judge me. I don't want you in my life. Well, <laughs> I judge you. I judge you. She's not saying that to people who are coming to her house. She's actually saying that to her haters. Not me, because maybe, but I'm not in her life. She's saying that to people who were in her life, who are now no longer in her life. So there are probably people that don't come over to her house anymore, is what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Maybe Pam's ovaries? I mean, kind, judgment-free people. You are not kind or judgment-free people. You are not. You're a damned, damn liar. From the people I spoke with from Alicia's past, she is not judgment free. She is vitriolic and she is heinous in her her attitude towards people who don't like her or who did like her, who supported her. If she got a whiff, just a whiff that you might not have supported her through something or you did a video that might have not agreed with her, she would literally tear down a forest to come after you. This woman is the worst of them all. And for her to say that, Oh my God, she knows I know what I know too. You're wearing them jeans again. St Why? Like I understand you wanna troll people, right? But we're making fun of you for wearing the same clothes over and over and over again. Maybe you just change your clothes. Just try, just, just change your clothes. Does she just sleep in them? 
Is that what happens? Those things are, again, they're going to turn to dust someday. Um, honey, you want tablecloth? Again, more plastic waste. You don't, 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 don't miss it. <laughs> Literally can't even just get like a tablecloth that you can reuse every year and just launder. She buys plastic tablecloths that she's going to throw in the garbage. Everything this woman does is wasteful. What is that shit over in the corner? I can't wait to get rid of this mustache. It it itches my nose. Oh, I got like some crafty stuff the kids can do. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Okay. This is interesting. Isn't this supposed to be Bodhi's playroom that uh, they were supposed to do for his birthday? Remember, she's like, we only gave him three gifts because we're going to make his new playroom. He didn't do shit in that playroom, lady. Did you forget about that, Alicia? Oh, that's nice. So all your other kids get a whole bunch of shit for their birthdays. And Bodhi, the one thing he needs because he needs sensory things, I think, is a new playroom with all the things you're supposed to get him. And you can't even do that. You're so busy that you can't give your kid the promised birthday gift from October. It is now almost December and you still haven't done that. You're such a good mom. Oh, thanks for, thanks for lying, you liar. Your kids are gonna see that one day. Look, I know that you're people with lots of kids are busy. I get it. But if you make a promise to your children, you follow through on that promise because that's teaching your kids that promises mean shit and that their word means nothing. You also teach your children not to appreciate anything or to value anything. So what are you teaching your children, Alicia? What are you teaching them? You are absolutely doing this wrong. I pack them for New York City this week and I don't feel like washing them up. So they're just going to wear whatever. Plus they'll be outside. You don't feel like washing kids' clothes? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever we wear on Thanksgiving ends up smelling like deep fried turkey. So I hate that she does it. When she tries to tell a joke or be like a little bit of it, she does this with her lips. One of them. I'm not gonna. Could you imagine living with this person? Like I don't know. Thanks. <laughs> I always end up having to wash everybody's coats. <laughs> well, instead of washing them, you buy new ones. We got it. You dumbass but you have tables from literally Little House on the Prairie. It smells like grease. Well, then maybe don't cook with grease. You know what? I don't care if this mustache is crooked from now. I'm not touching it for the rest of the damn day. I'm just going to push it down. Okay. So it's over. It's over. I'm shaving it right after this video. Dick sniffer. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny to me. Sometimes you ever like something happens and you, it makes you laugh so much you don't even but nobody else laughs. My wife does it all the time. Her and I have different sense of humor, but sometimes I'll think of something so funny and we will just laugh for half an hour. Westy will say something. It's so funny. All right, let's see what you got going here. All right, Josh is getting ready. Shit is so dangerous to do if you're stupid and these people are stupid. So. <laughs> So he's got a propane uh, bottle out there for a heater, okay? Right next to a damned deep fryer. <laughs> if you wanted another fire hazard, you got one right there. Any splash up, this shit is catching fire. I mean, it's a good thing it's a million driveway. It likely won't. It'll just burn up the cardboard or whatever. But you have a freaking yard full of dry leaves, ale. <laughs> These people are so stupid. He's got two tables set up. Nice shoes there, bruh. I'm kidding. Those are those are silly. What is this thing? They have one in the kitchen. What is that? Is it Wi-Fi? Heater. Is it a camera? TV for the... It's so <laughs> There's a TV out here. Okay. Parade. It's really cold out. Zoe hates this family. And I... Zoe... Solidarity. Here. Okay, so he's, is it brine? He's brining it, right? So that thing already looks rotten. That does not look like a healthy ass turkey, dude. I'm sorry. It's brined. I get that. And maybe that's what we're looking at. They're brined it with salt, probably brined it with chicken stock or something. I don't know. Uh, back off. I don't want this juice. Yeah, back the hell off, children. Get out of here. Get out. This, kid, this guy has no time for his kids. Dash is like trying to make a joke. Is that turkey naked? He's like, Dash, okay. Like, grow up. Okay, bro. <laughs> like, your kids want to be a part of your life. I get it. This is so unsafe, but just, at least, you know, don't be a dick on camera. This guy doesn't give a shit, man. Wow, your table wasn't even set up. 
great work. And then they'll throw that little bucket of brine just out down their septic. One. Alicia does a lot of leash. Like, hi, everybody. Welcome to the Dark and Edie's Nuts. So in case people are wondering why we're taking them out now is because... You have to dry them. They have to dry before you drop them in the deep fryer. That's Dash. We have Dash, Zoe, and Bree outside. The only ones braving the cold right now. That's because these kids want to see their dad set on fire. And that's just, you know, me too. Agreed. <laughs> Maybe you should wear super loose clothing. <laughs> oh, it would have been so funny if it's like too caught on fire. Teens are still in bed. Okay. Watch out so I can see the oil pouring. That's crazy. They literally have turkey oil. I just use canola oil. Of another container. Yeah. See, the thing is, you got to test first, is you got to put your turkey, put the 14-pound turkey in with your brine. Okay, this is how you do this. You put your 14-pound turkey in, that's what they got. Then you pour the brine, you're going to brine the turkey in anyway, and you see what level it needs to be at. It needs to be about three inches or four inches over top of the turkey, okay? And then you pull your turkey out, right? And then you know what level you can put your oil at so that when your turkey gets in, there's not displacement past so it doesn't go over the top. Does that make sense? So he just making shit up. And it's not safe. When you are doing something like this that is this dangerous, you need to take every precaution before you do it. Because this shit will literally catch your body on fire and you will not be able to put out. I don't see a fire extinguisher anywhere either, by the way. And these people are foster adopted kinship type parents. This is a literal like violation of the rules if you adopt children. Okay, You have to have fire extinguishers everywhere. Do you see one here? Do they have a fire truck parked next door or something? Take your shit seriously. So he's cooking the shit. It's super early in the morning, too. Like, deep frying doesn't take more than 45 minutes, depending on the size of the turkey. Are you So everybody's going to eat turkey jerky later on? Is that what's happening? I don't see a thermometer anywhere. Okay. Kids, get away from this. Get away. Also, oil stains your driveway. Not like they give a shit about stains, but clearly they don't give a shit. Someone is outside in the freezing cold without shoes on. That's smart. Parent your children better. Do you guys see a fire extinguisher anywhere? I see a plugged in TV. I see a, a yard full of literal fire hazards everywhere. Kids in blank, wrapped in blankets by where the fire hazard is. I can't make this up. This is so unsafe and Alicia doesn't give a shit. If you want to watch, go on the other side or in the garage. Go in the window and look. Go stay on the roof, it's safer. Okay, buddy, just put the turkey in. You're good to go now. You're good. Yep, you're good. It's plopping out everywhere, by the way. You got too much oil. Again, one more thing, too, is that that, that deep fryer, that, that flame thing they have in this pot, that shit's 500 years old. You literally just bought $15,000 worth of the phones. Couldn't buy a better one of these? This thing is ancient. Have you ever washed it? Ugh. That's, that's, bit, it that's pretty high in the oil. That's we got to be careful. It's just again, look, see how it's sputtering out. If that catches a flame, it's over. It smells good. Oh, it smells so good. That's because you probably put so much. Oh, did you already deep fry one over there? Looks like one's already burnt. Yeah. Okay, get away from it, kids. Uh, you put the thermometer in the oil. Uh, it's not going to tell you when the turkey's done. You got to put the... Okay, whatever. You should have the thermometer in the oil before you put the turkey in. Whatever! Excited the parade starting. Woohoo! I wanted to go to that parade so bad. I just couldn't make it happen. I don't see security there. Why not? I know why security was there. The security wasn't permanent. It was there because something happened. I'll tell you someday. Parade's on. I mean, you don't have to watch it. Just let me know. You're the only one up. 
He's watching a movie that has a sex scene in it, right? And as soon as that sex scene comes on, she comes out because that's how that works, right? You ever watch movies when you're a kid and you're like, this is a simple movie. There's like maybe one boob in this whole movie. And during that one boob is when your parents walk into the room, right? Like, it's like, it could just be a flash of a nipple. Just like a, boop, boop, there's a nipple, yay, right? But that moment is when the people in the, that don't need to be in the room come into the room. Damn it. Yeah, the kids are inside watching it. How much longer? Look at that shit, man. It's so dangerous. You are so dangerous. That is black. <laughs> what have you done to the turkey, man? It looks like Mordor in there. What have you done, man? You burnt the shit out of it. Very excited you're here. Nana and Papa just walked in the door. The kids have been asking for the past hour. When are they coming? When are they coming? When are they coming? Uh, you know what I've been asking? Can you take down the birthday decorations from six years ago? Plus center your Bon Appetit and your whatever that is on the table. Please just center it. For the love of God, just center it. I'm begging you. I'll come do it. I'll bring a level and shit. We'll do it right. They're here. Let me hang this banner up. Okay. Take down the birthday one then. Uh, I went live for the turkey drops. Are those things in the corners speakers or cameras? What are those? Those little triangles. Speakers, I think. Oh, you'll be able to. We're matching. Come show them. Okay. okay. This was unplanned. I'm sure it was. Water. Drink water. Lots of water. This is this is unplanned. They're not even close to matching. What are you wearing? Like Uncle, you look like Uncle Buck. <laughs> is this Nana? Nana, you son of a bitch! Welcome, welcome to Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, Harley's like. I'm in a good mood today. It's it's a good mood day. You're not matching. Hers is almost brown. All right, relax. I think my grandfather has that same coat. Oh, hi, honey. Here comes Nana, yelling all the time. Dad. Okay. Nana has a booming voice. Is she in the military? Was she a sergeant or something? Um, yeah. Good morning. Happy Thanksgiving. Did you take your pants upstairs? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, Alex, 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 Take your what? Your pants? Alex, help me with this first. Oh, yeah. Mom, mom needs your height. Yeah, you need a step ladder. That's all you need. Just keep one around. Folds up nice. This is honestly the only reason to have tall teenagers. And I have one. Tyson literally comes in handy almost every day just to grab shit from top shelves and all that. I'm not the shortest guy. I'm 5'11", I think. But he's six foot four. That kid can put the star in the tree without a ladder. <laughs> That's a shitty banner. <laughs> it's nice banner. Nice banner, lady. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, Nana's cooking. Let's see their skills. Okay. Yes. Um, I believe he wants to know some things. You know Nana watches my show. Nana, nothing against you. But you're in the circumference of the Doherty D's nuts, and so you get some of this snark. I'm sure you're a nice lady. Bingo night's probably packed full of fun for you and all your friends and stuff. I'm sure you're nice, but just tell your daughter to protect your kids, maybe, eh? Maybe? I don't know. Something tells me you don't like what she does either. That's a Nana question. Oh. Should we put them on that table, maybe? Hey, what are the fruit flies going to eat? Well, Why that's you? up to you. Do you want to say that? Yep, 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 yep. That's where we get the Y and all the A's. The yats. There? I think we should because our kitchen outlets are so glitchy. Oh, that's safe. Too much stuff is collected. They go. Poop. They go out. Okay. But that outlet. You can literally afford probably to buy a house with cash. I kid you not. That's how much money she has made on this platform. With cash, she didn't even have to sell this one. She can keep it. And she. He's, well, we have a house that's a fair hazard. Yeah, hazard. What? What are you doing? And well, that one chair's got all my electricity. No, that stuff. Can't, that a waste of banana. Because the ice maker. The, oh, that is an ice maker. Oh, is that one of those ice makers that makes Sonic ice? Because I've been looking at it. Okay, I've been. I went to Sonic's with Tyson. Yeah, I called it Sonic's. What are you gonna do about it? And we got I got this like limeade, strawberry, whatever it was. Oh my god, it was good. Okay. Like, but it was the ice. The ice. And then I Googled it's called nugget ice. We have an ice maker, it's like a frigidaire, it just makes normal ice, right? But I want a nugget ice maker. And I told my wife, 
stop me from buying this nugget ice maker because you can buy the one right there is like $1,200 and I want one. I want a nugget ice maker. West Weston loves to eat ice too. So it's like, it's for Westy and I. I love nugget ice. I don't know where it's going with that, but Sonics. You can move other things. Okay, what's wrong with that banana? It's fine. Tango. Sweet tango. That's what these <laughs> apples are called. Yeah, apples. Yeah, apples. I don't know. Some Maybe. big ass apples, lady. They're really good. Those are huge. Different kinds of apples out. Is she like an apple professional or something? Egg roll and a fruit salad. Is that donuts and bagels that nobody ate? Look at that. She put all that shit out for breakfast and only two kids ate any of it. Two kids. She put 24 bagels out, 24 donuts, and that's... You, nobody touched any of it except for Bodie and Harley. It's relatively simple. I have to make sure there's no children listening. Okay. And a husband. I put mostly plain yogurt. It is delicious. And then... I don't believe you. Don't believe you at all. I put a little mayonnaise in. What? And... Machine. What is it with all these old people and their crazy recipes? They're like, then I threw a little bit of arsenic in there. It's just a touch, just a dabble, right? Back in our day, that's what we had. Throw some cocaine in. It's just for the it's for the edge, right? And it's just is something you've never had. Where do they come up with this shit? It's probably delicious, too. It's weird. You know, Vaseline has many purposes. One is like if you put it in your salad dressing, it just goes down easier and makes things come out a lot nicer. You know, it's better than a colon cleanse, you know? It's just one of those tricks from the 50s. June, Marshine, yeah, the cherry juice. That word. That word. Mar I Been up since five. Maraschino, a holes. Yes. So I is Nana her mom or Josh's mom? It's Josh's mom, right? Yeah. Three crack pants. Crack pants. Crack pants. Why do you have three crack pants? You're a grandmother. You don't need three crack pants. Your house, but sent me videos, so I will add that. Oh, great! Thanks. Where? Add it. Add it. Add it. Let me see it. Oh. Oh. Do you have makeup on now? Yeah, you can unplug the white cord if there's a white cord there. All right, I gotta. I, I, like, I wanna watch this whole thing. Some every Because I'll fast forward it and people are like, oh, you missed the one most important thing she said. But I can't. These are two hours long, man. Turkey one is done. Turkey one. are putting one. in this big crock pot? Do we need this? Turkey one is done. Thanks, Nana. Turkey one's done and probably burnt to shit. Shit. Let's see how many songs we can get out of today, hey? Hey? Let me know if you see a song I should be singing. Is Nana just gonna chop shit for half an hour? And that's how I made Alicia my sous chef. In well, she. <laughs> She's not a good chef anyway, so I wouldn't even make her a sous chef and be like, you know what? You just go over there and film some shit. I'll take care of the ass. Her own house. <laughs> <laughs> Cackles! Cackles! Thanks, I made her my sous chef. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't let her kid you. She did all this shopping. I mean, I did some. Oh, she did all the shopping. The, the taco casserole was simply this. Ground... There's too many apples, Nana. Chill in the apples, okay? It's gonna be all apples. Hamburg. You, I sprayed the bottom with some ham. And some Vaseline. Threw the ground hamburg in. That with cheese. Who talk? Know. Who talk to Nana? <laughs> you talking to us? Okay. Taco cheese. Give stats for the Buffalo Bills like you can. Buffalo Bills suck balls, Nana. They're terrible. Let's see the standings now. They were eighth last time. They're second. Oh, AFC second in the AFC East. Damn it! How are my uh, how are my Philly how are my Philadelphia's doing? Flyers? No, it's the hockey team. Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles. Number one, baby. Ten wins, one loss, no ties. PCT, whatever that is. Nine oh nine, three oh three PF, two sixteen PA, eighty seven diff, five one zero home, five zero road. 210 division. I don't know what the shit this is. 
They're winning. Go Eagles. Okay, keep going. I got to come up to a game in Philly. Get a cheesesteak, come to an NFL game. How expensive is it? Does anybody have any tickets that can sell me? I want the crack pots. Oh. Crack pits. Okay. Oats, gravy. Does it really matter? They're the same size, Nana. Chill. Mac and cheese. Okay. Mac and cheese. Your new, your new one's mac and cheese. Gravy's in this one. This is squash. I don't know what we have this one for. I just brought them all. So maybe I'll put the Why do you have so many damn crock pots, Grandma? You making meth at home in a crock pot or something? Okay, that looks like that looks like shit. I'm sorry. Ugh. Did you throw the maraschino cherry? Oh, she did. She throw cherries in there. Nobody likes maraschino cherries, so I don't know why you did that. No, like, does, does anybody I know like maraschino cherries? If you do, are you okay? It's like raisins. And nobody who eats like prunes and who eats weird shit and is like this is so delicious like date squares and stuff <laughs> yeah right like fig newtons and, and cherries nana's absolutely an overshare <laughs> like you're in the grocery line and she like tells you her whole life back in world war ii when i was a nurse i i didn't look even look at you and you're talking to me thanks though but if you're Canadian, there's just nothing you can do about it. You're just like, oh, that's... And then you're interested. You're like, well, that's, you know, that's just interesting. Okay, tell me more, please. Hurry up, check my groceries. Yeah. That's... An, oh, eh? That's nice, eh? That's good. Well, I gotta go then, eh? See you later. I'll never see you in my life again. And I did. I did say to her, you know... That they <laughs> shit doesn't even fit on the table. I didn't really have any Thanksgiving plans. Nana, stop yelling. I'm right here. You gotta stop yelling. All right? You have one, use your indoor voice, lady. I know she's used to yelling over the bingo bustle and all that stuff, but it's not bingo. And I said you got... I know I make fun of bingo pe people a lot, but I absolutely, absolutely love bingo. My wife's like, what do you want to do for birthday? I'm like, let's go to bingo. Kathy, Kathy. I know what I want to do for my birthday. Bingo. I want to go to bingo. Alright, we're bringing stuff in. Getting stuff. Somebody help Grandpa. He's gonna die there. He's about to trip. Warmed up. Old people can't just trip and fall, man. They break hips and knees and shit. Thank goodness we did this ahead. Ugh. No one's gonna eat that. <laughs> couldn't even bring out china and cutlery for Thanksgiving. You couldn't even do it for Thanksgiving. Not for Chris. Like, have a, have a little class is all I'm asking. You know, a little bit of class. This is class because they're orange like Thanksgiving. Uh, Esther, do this. Okay. And then for dessert, go on a truck. Uh, the... I'm also pretty sure that her ice maker over there does make Kona ice. Interesting. Uh, yeah, Touch every fork, please. People oh, gotta that eat was that. that was maple. You know kids don't wash their hands, so... Everybody's going to die in this house. Something. Uh, maple, yeah. That's Black plate. Maple, maple frosted, honey. Those are... God, we're getting the power bar in the middle. That's safe. Where all the liquids are going to go. Poof! Light that shit on fire. Oh, my very thing. I got to get more... So the turkeys are all done, and shit's not even ready yet. Not even, None of it's ready. You don't time things properly. Look how many Amazon boxes they have back here. Oh, my God. Corn and gravy they don't even have time to open their shit. Fine. I want to see the turkey. I want to see dad caught on fire. Deshaun's rocking an iPhone 12 or 13 in this, and the next day, he gets an iPhone 14. Those kids didn't even need it. It's crazy how much she wastes. Ooh, that Dude, you burnt the shit out of that. It's your problem, man. Pretty. Just, oh, he's drinking. I thought they were quitting drinking. He's not quitting drinking. Um, no, I'm sorry. You burnt the living shit out of that turkey. You burnt the shit. There's this app you can get, okay? You put your you put the, the thermometer into the fattiest part of the chicken, like the big breast, right? And then when it's ready, it literally goes -de 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 to your phone. You just burnt the shit out of that thing. That's not, that does not look good. <laughs> Pretty. Your 14 pound turkey is now three pounds because you burned that shit too crisp. <laughs> you think? <laughs> this is a 
amazing. <laughs> that's going to be nice and crispy. You think, buddy, that's going to be Cajun. That's going to be just crispy. Take the word nice out. That's going to be crunchy. <laughs> Delicious. Mm -hmm. So good. You know what? It's funny because you know that these people didn't come for money because they actually don't know what good food is. And I'm I'm because I didn't. I didn't even have a good steak until I was in my 30s. That's how long it took for me to eat steak. Anyway, they think that's good. And that's very telling about who they are. Dude, you shit the bed on that turkey. Yeah. <laughs> what? Why would you? Two down. <laughs> so fucking burnt. Oh my god, I love it. I love this. Oh, do to go. Why don't you just bake one in the oven then, so that you have turkey that's good instead of disgusting crunch turkey? They still have their freaking pumpkins from Halloween. Whoa, what is that? What is that? What is that? Sorry, a little You think? Okay. What is that? She's gonna put those bricks of Velveeta in there, isn't she? Taking two pounds of Alba. I don't know if this truck truck's gonna be good. Craig Pete. I'm gonna have to. What is in the one that Nana just did? What is that? Is that mashed potatoes? Okay. That's a lot of effing mashed potatoes, Nana. Chill, lady. Ooh. So I'm doing two pounds of almond. What's up, Zoe? I thought these kids were lactose. Are you gonna help me? Zoe? No, Zoe doesn't want to help you. You can get the butter out and put it in the top for me. Zoe's like giving her the finger band. It's <laughs> off, Mom. I like Zoe. Zoe, you're cool. I don't care what anybody says. You are the coolest one in this family. Mm -hmm. Nana, what did you just put in there? Watch the butter. This is where Alicia gets it. She doesn't measure shit. She's like, just throw it all in there. It'll be all right. No, man. Your shit's going to taste gross. It's melted. It's melted? Okay, you're going to come pour that? No, not that much. Doesn't matter. You're putting it in a crock pot. Just throw it in there. It'll melt. Hello? Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoever's lactose in this house, you can kiss our ass. Holy shit, man. Oh yeah, man. So good. So I just all my for you, baby. Okay. There you go. And like all the mac and cheese stuff. Notice how Zoe, Zoe didn't help? <laughs> Those I okay, I gotta see this brick of Velveeta. I gotta see this. I'm so excited to see this. Okay. Oh, it's like, it comes in like bricks of butter, sort of. Oh, honey, you need a big spoon. Like <laughs> it brings a teaspoon. <laughs> He's cute. That's cute. I'm not gonna lie, that's cute. So Holy it comes for like a pound and a half of Velveeta, but we like to extra Velveeta. But we like to extra diabetes everything. So we're gonna put three, we're gonna triple the cheese we put in here and triple the milk. So anybody who has lactose is gonna eat this and literally have a prolapsed anus by the end of dinner. It's just what we do, it's a tradition. I'm putting in two pounds of it has to cook. It has to cook. Oh, is that is that why you're putting more in? Because it has to cook? Okay, cool. <laughs> like, if you put the proper amount of ingredients, it doesn't have to cook? I don't... Your logic. Your logic. It's you. Oh, it comes in... It's not liquid. It's not going to turn out good. That's going to be shit. Again. Everybody's going to die later. You died of dysentery. That's what's going to happen. And if it These people would not survive the Oregon Trail. Okay, they would have died before they even started. And if you have not seen 1883, everybody, and you like Yellowstone, go watch 1883. Oh my God, what a masterpiece of cinematic television! Cream. I, I am whipped cream illiterate, and I'm gonna make cream. Whipped cream illiterate. So well, you cannot read whipped cream. Interesting. Interesting. 
Nobody's gonna eat your green bean casserole because it's made from shitty canned green beans and frozen green beans. Gross. What is that? French's onion rings? Fried onions. Crispy fried onions. Everybody's gonna just dig out the crispy fried onions. Nana. Septic. Eh? Chill. James just got up for breakfast for some donuts. <laughs> Notice how nobody touched the bagel except for Harley? Yeah. Good thing you laid out all the bagels. We're doing more recycling. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for telling us, Nana. Everyone's like, who's Nana talking to, man? Who is she talking to? We're going. Oh, she wants us to help, and they keep disappearing. Well, look at you. I won't help you either, lady. You yell too much. Ew, Alicia, that looks gross. What are you? Ew. Stop it. Ew. Any semblance of any vegetable in that thing, any like nutritional value, has been sucked out by the cream and crispy onions and bullshit you put in there. <laughs> Had some casserole. Keep, no, thanks. Keep them out of the I don't care. Don't care. Just do it. Don't tell everybody. Alicia's like, oh, do, do. she got a waddle. The Alicia waddle, lush waddle. Da, do, do, da, de. It's a lot of corn, man. I cannot uh, RIP the toilets in this house. That's all I gotta say. All of them. Did they, did they hire like those outhouses just for the afternoon? Kona truck and a whole line of freaking porta potties. So this one's covered in something. Looks like sage or some shit gonna burn this this oil is so hot you can tell it's already black and that sage is just gonna literally burn to a crisp that's silly that's not gonna be good he already burnt the other turkeys he's gonna burn the sage and the turkey it's gonna be like hey this tastes exactly like charcoal delicious it is sage okay that's a lot of sage man it's gonna taste ex he's saved the sage turkey for last right because he doesn't want to rub off in the oil but it's literally gonna be disgusting <laughs> Holy shit, man. How many people are coming to this house? Because that is a lot of food. A lot of waste. I can't, I couldn't even imagine the garbage a day on this, at this house. Uh, doesn't that look so yummy? That's actually cheese. Jason thought it was cheese. Meat. Don't touch everything. Ew, stop letting your kids touch things. Their hands are dirty. Kids' hands are dirty. All of them. Always assume kids' hands are nasty because they are. Yeah. You watch. She's going to touch every everything with those thumbs <laughs> This is like, don't. Don't sing about the thumbs. She's gonna touch them all. Every single one. She's gonna touch every piece. And hand, like handle it. Yep, every piece, every damn. Here's some pepperoni. She's the only one I know who puts pepperoni in. Don't put <laughs> Your shark boards are garbage. And touch, like, eat it. You eat my hands! You will eat my hands and you will like it! Ew, lady, just pour it onto the plate! Did Nana just ask a kid if they vacuumed? <laughs> Have you ever met these kids? Nana's in the background. I'll be like, vacuum this hallway. You go clean the windows and the siding in the house. Okay, you go rake the leaves. Someone better clean this toilet right now. Nana, it's Thanksgiving, lady. <laughs> Alicia doesn't care if her house is a big pile of shit. She said, don't judge her. So what do you care, Nana? It's And it's not even just the, 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 the part here. It's... It's that the, this knuckle's like, you know, that's a normal thumb. Okay, everybody, that's just, that's how normal hands look. You like my hands, birthday hands, not even any good crackers. Well, the snack table's ready. I didn't get around to making the little hot dogs yet, but I can always make those later. And yeah, I'm sure you'd be okay with that, the little hot dogs. Nut platter, dried fruit platter. Ew, dried fruit. 
Nobody's eating that. Better, veggies, a waste. Chips and dip, chips and salsa, popcorn, shrimp, and. That's not enough shrimp. I would eat that whole plate by myself. Cheese platter. How come? Everyone's getting oh. here. It's giving. Right? Alright, they're gonna carve up the turkey. Car carve it up with what? Use a hammer. It'll break faster. <laughs> I'm gonna carve up shit that you burnt the shit. Look at this one. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. That is the only one that it's still burnt, but it's the only one that's not as burnt. I gotta, I gotta see him cut this. I have to see this. This one's too hot. Is there? <laughs> Guys, like it's all friends. I'm like, I think you burnt these shits, bro. Taste us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Taste us. Couldn't never buy a bundle thing in because I can't. Taste test. That's giving James reading the peanut butter cookies vibe. Oh yeah, that was good. Happy birthday to me. Look at him. He's like, mm, this is really good. <laughs> Cousin Eddie loves that kind of turkey though. This is that. Uh, oh, that was awesome. Papa has turned down his hearing aids, so you'll have to yell at him. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> I'm making that I'm making that into a shirt. I don't care if it's exploitative. Pop okay everybody, Papa's turned down his hearing aids, so you're gonna have to yell at him. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Papa's like, F all these people. Oh, it's great. It's great. It's really good. It's crazy. You should try it. Grab a piece of <laughs> Don't try it. That means oh so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down I'm uh, mm, so good. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. That shit is burnt. And you know how it's burnt? Because there's no juice. It's not juicy. When you deep fry a turkey, okay, when you cut it, it's literally like butter and its juice is flowing out. It's so good when you do it right. That shit is dry as Alicia's pants. Yeah, but can't They're on their phones. They don't want to be taking a picture. Like, we don't like you. Stop. Yeah, Jordan, you... Like, I understand why she wants to include Neve and Deshaun in this whole thing, and I get that. And I, I would never shame her for that. But at the same time, she also has to make sure that she separates and tells them and tells everybody, these aren't our kids. These are not your grandkids. They aren't. We are. This is a kinship placement that we're helping, and we they are obviously part of the family, yes, and always will be. But they're not your children. And there's, I think there's an argument to be made for an identity thing here, to like be really careful. Because... There could be some like parental alienation happening here where she she has a vested interest to keep them in her family because they make her money, right? And so that's what I'm saying. You gotta just be the language does matter, optics do matter. But at the same time, I totally get 
in their presence why you'd want to do that. You know, I'm, I'm kind of torn with that one. I am. Did she just say, this is where she said it. She said, yeah, I haven't drank for a whole month, but she cut out some of that one before that. You, you have drank three weeks ago. You went on a date with him, came back and said, man, 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 yeah, man, yeah, and you were plastered. You were blitzed beyond blitzed. So why do you lie when you literally vlog every single day of your life and we can go back and see the exact date of when you said that, which is this date. So this is the date she did the video, November 4th. And it is November 24th during this video because that's Thanksgiving or 26th or something like 26th thing. I don't know what it is, but it's, she says over a month and it hasn't even been three weeks since this video she was drinking. Maybe something happened and she was so hammered and plastered. She's like, I can't do that anymore. That's probably what happened. So we can see that. Just wanted to show you that. And who are you saying that to? That one. Which one was that? Or is she drinking now, right? And she's wondering if she got caught in the video or there's a seltzer or something over there. And she's saying that to say, I haven't drank in a month, so proud of me, I'm drinking now. That's what I'm thinking it is, because he's been drinking all day. This was that poultry brine. Mm, that's good. <coughs> Come get your sand turkey, everybody. Grab a paddle. Yeah, something tells me it's because she's drinking now. So she's saying that in case someone catches her drinking or someone asks her. And she's like, I've been drinking a whole month and now I'm having a white claw. That's what I'm thinking is happening right here. Because she said she's trying to be better. And for people who are likely addicted to alcohol or anything addicted, it's really, really difficult. So you got to give her a little bit. You know, she's probably just pacing herself. Maybe she's going to do one white claw a week or one a day instead of five a day or whatever. Right? Again, I don't want to diminish and like throw into the bus for that because I honestly think it's so smart for her to quit drinking, especially when you have that many children at home with FASD. I hope she's serious. I hope she's not just doing that for the video. Here are the four turkeys. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Is that a quiche? Is that a quiche? Oh. There's more gravy per capita than anything else. Oh, what the f Nana. What'd you put in your applesauce? Diapers? Cranberry, fruit salad, crescent rolls. Ew, do you put raisins in that? <laughs> do you mean cheese? With a little bit of mac in there? It's disgusting. I'm sorry. But we're gonna go. Ew, there's so much cheese and milk in there. R.I.P. your anus. And mashed potatoes. Oh, and turkey butter. butter. Yeah. Why, do you have like a mold for that's pretty cool? I definitely the head. <laughs> right on the bun. Boom. <laughs> Wow. Now I went for the drumstick. Zoe hates you. If you guys have seen this video, and I don't encourage you to go watch it, but I'm going to blank her face out here. But she just gave her mom a death stare. Like, Zoe is not into this shit. She, oh my God. Zoe's going to be the biggest whistleblower on the docket he does, and I can't wait till she's old enough. Grab your paper plates and burn the world to the ground. Damn you and your paper straws. Harley's yeah. <laughs> just touching everything with her hands. Harley, do you want me to help you? Does she look like she needs help? She does. Help her. That's a look. I did too. Mashed potatoes yeah. and great mashed potatoes are over here. Thanks, Nana. Oh, she makes me talking to Papa because he has his hands down. Mashed potatoes are over here. So Papa is basically Bethany. <laughs> Brings a cat in a box. So I must have put too much milk in. I don't know, but I must have not measured any shit. When you bite into the cheesy noodles, it's cheesy? Well, that's because it's all cheese, bruh. You think it's cheesy? I'm sorry, it looks like shit. Yeah, Alex said it's fine. It's just creamy. Uh... I guess that's a word you could use for it. Alicia put like 16 cups of milk in there, butter, and then doubled the cheese because it's like, oh, that's what it says in the recipe, but I'm doubling it. Because she doesn't give a shit about anything. 
It matters. Using improper ingredients. I understand a little bit liberal on some things, you know, a little bit extra, a little, a little elbow. So I get that, right? A little extra. Not double. Learn to cook so your family can eat properly. Take a little pride. <clears throat> Nothing Alicia does is with love. That's the thing. Potatoes. <clears throat> <clears throat> Including parenting. Burn. Chunky. A lot better. They're too chunky. Yeah, they're too chunky. What's well, too chunky? Yeah. Honey, I I put them through the grinder. Too chunky, honey. I I put them through a grinder. You have a grinder. Also, he's like, try it. Eat it off my thumb. Oh, kids. Yeah, I love kids. Oh, this is getting eat with their thumbs now. Okay, which turkey should I get? <laughs> sorry, honey, they're real mashed potatoes. I'm sorry, honey, they're real, I promise. <laughs> it's amazing. Very salty. You can, I mean, it's probably hard to mash 50 pounds of potatoes. I get it, Nana. I get it. But you... <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. Instant mashed potatoes. What are the instant mashed potatoes? No, why don't you just do it right then? Maybe Zoe just has a little bit of her own. Put a couple of potatoes in a in another bowl and mash them the way that she likes them. I mean, you bought shit just for Deshaun. You do things just for certain people all the time. Why can't Zoe have the mashed potatoes that she prefers? It's really simple to do, too. And it's special. Hey, Zoe, we made you some special mashed potatoes because you're special. That's all you had to do. They missed so many opportunities to be good people. They, they just... And it's because they don't get it. They're not. That's because they're not good people. Next year, so that's smooth, okay? Okay. Okay. She agrees with me, so that's that. Yeah. yeah. This is turkey. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, that's the best part of my day, right there. I brought. Why are you yelling? Stop yelling. Pumpkin pie. <laughs> Alicia ain't eating any of this shit. She's just. It's for the camera, right? She's not eating any of this. What? <laughs> I brought apple, cherry, and pumpkin pie. Put the camera down. And I made and Again, let's go back to I know it's all funny and we're having fun, but never ever forget. Even during family time during Thanksgiving, Alicia has not put the camera down once for this entire day, has not spent one second of this day with her children, except with the camera on and saying, nice coloring. Here's some food. Hey, do you like this taters? Nothing. Everything Alicia's done today is with the camera on with the intent to sell it to you. They can't even have a Thanksgiving dinner without their mom vlogging the entire thing. And it, it escapes a lot of people, but don't forget it. Oh, and I made real whipped cream. Oh, your plate looks good. You made real whipped cream with whipped cream, okay. <laughs> that wasn't funny. That wasn't funny. <laughs> so he's like, yeah, that's so funny. Piss off, Nana. You son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Dad. That was dad. The kids are like, I can't eat that one. It tastes like pure salt and Vaseline. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this is so funny. <laughs> Nana, your mashed potatoes are shit. Miracle. How'd you grab any cheese soup there? You missed your cheese soup. <laughs> oh my god. I need to make a shirt that says Nana, you son of a bitch. Grandpa, Papa turned down his hearing aid, so yelled to talk to him. <laughs> There's so many t-shirts you can make out of this one video. Cheese soup. They just ignore James. Hear that too. He's sitting there trying to talk to his mom, and she just completely ignores him. You can't miss that shit, man. That poor um, kid. <clears throat> Ew, it's store bought. I judge you. Here's <laughs> cheese soup. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Is it? So it's. Uh, okay. 
right, so this took... Couldn't this you just put the Velveeta cheese on it? Why did you need to put milk and butter in there? Isn't Velveeta cheese literally milk, cheese, and butter? Is that all it is? Two hours to cook. That's gross. Here's my plate. Although my squash got a little buried. Ugh, she just threw that. She's like... <laughs> You <clears throat> Josh pounding the beers all day, man. That guy's been drinking all day. Do his students watch these videos? All right, we just brought dessert in. Nana made two pumpkin pies, whipped cream, two apple Shit's a little whipped cream, Nana. Apple pies, two cherry pies. We bought two cheesecakes. Aunt Jackie made a pumpkin roll, and Ella made I don't know what kind of muffins. Uh, Looks like apple pie muffins. Uh, but they're they're apple cupcakes. They're apple cupcakes. cupcakes. What happened to the turkey? ice cream cakes and all that shit you bought there. You got two of them. Where's all that shit? She just, what a wasteful sloth. <laughs> Harley touches everything with her fingers. Keep touching. Just teach your children, stop touching other people's food. Like, I get it. Like, don't do it. It's, it's just this common decency. Okay, teach your kids something. Cheesecake might still be frozen. Yeah, I didn't take it out. Oh, good work. Good work, super ma'am. Uh, the cousins and uncles and aunt just... I thought she said there was 45 people coming. That's There was not, it was like 20, 22 people, maybe max. Left now, we're chilling out, still watching the Bills game. So I came over to eat lunch and just peaced out. Bye! <laughs> quarter, 53... They didn't even stay for the whole game? That tells you a lot. Hmm? Hmm? Seconds left. That's because they came over to see you as a family, Alicia, and all you did was film the whole thing for your audience. You were not engaged with your children nor your family, and this is a family event. And you were literally hanging out with your camera. And Josh was out by burning the turkeys, drinking beers, and then came in and sat down and watched football. Great hosts. You guys are all great at this. Twins family is here. So they get to come eat all the cold food? That's real nice. What? That's not, that's not sitting, unless they're like, okay, we'll come after our own Thanksgiving, okay, maybe. They haven't even gone in to eat, they're just playing football. Because they came to see their family. Okay, the twins' biological family was here for a couple hours, we had dinner. We Didn't film that though, did you? Which was just a reheat of everything we already set out for lunch, and it was delicious a second time. And second dessert. But thank you for spending Thanksgiving with us. You are strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So proud of you. Who do these nuts? F arf. Holy shit. So I got my hat back on. <clears throat> now we're gonna open some gifts. So this one's from Australia. So we got shapes. 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 Caramel, caramello koalas. Those are probably gonna be really good. Cheezels, cheezels, chiquito, chiquito, Milo, Milo, powdered chocolate milk. Twisties, probably gonna be good. Ooh, Arnott's family pack. These look like they look like thin mints. Okay, cherry ripe, ripe. Ooh, those look good. Cr Violet. Crumble. Yep. Tim Tam Alamadams. I love those. More Tim Tam Alamadams. Bolognese. I think it's Vegemite with meat in it. A, a mighty meal. I've never had it, and somebody sent me before. I did, I wasn't brave enough to try it yet. I will, I promise. Allen's uh, Soft Candies. Gus is just over here drooling. Okay, cool. That's amazing. I'll eat some of those. The kids will probably eat them all. Hi Josh, I really love watching your videos and I think it's amazing the message you're spreading. I hope that you and your family enjoy these iconic Australian snacks. When trying to Vegemite, it is best to have it on hot toast with a lot of butter and very small amount of Vegemite. Otherwise, you definitely won't like it. Also, Google how to do a Tim Tam Slam. I will. Hashtag grab a yapple. Thank you very much. This is awesome. This mug is amazing. I don't know if you guys can see that. Here you go. So this mug has a guitar, yapples, fake teeth, the thumb, the white claw, the uh, the Karen hairdo, and the pineapple. That is the best mug ever. And I have lots of great mugs. I really enjoy that. The special person that it's for happy birthday. Hi, Josh. When you mentioned your birthday was coming up, I couldn't resist having this mug made. My daughter makes customized mugs, and we came up with this. She's like, what do all these mean? I hope you enjoy it and continue uh, what you do. Always a good laugh. Thank you very much, Vicky. I really appreciate you. From St. Catharines. That's from my neck of the woods. All right. Whoa. You can tell them from Canada because this is Canada Post Box. Holy smoking. 
Hi, Josh. Just a note to say I think you're an amazing human being, and I love the message you spread through your YouTube channel. Mostly, Josh, I love how much you love your family, how you speak about your wife and children. is heartwarming uh, from Brenda. Oh, thanks, Brenda. You're the greatest. Haribo. Tiny candies. Yum Earth Suckers. These suckers are effing amazing. Sugar-free. Get them on Amazon. Harub Haribo are the only gummy bears in our world. I'm German, so I'm biased. That's awesome. I dedicated a copy of my book to you and then just signed a random copy in case you wanted to share. Holy, she's an author. Lucky's Way. Turn your a-hole... <laughs> Turn your asshole dog into an asset. That's awesome. Brenda Bomer, Gronsteg, dog trainer and handler. Hey, that's cool. So she's a dog trainer. This is awesome. <gasps> this is great. To my favorite YouTube channel host, so proud of the work you've done. Lucky's Way. Uh, for, oh, wow. This is cool. So this is just basically a book on how to train your dog. This is great. For my dad. May every smile. Oh, this is great. Great. I love that. I'm reading this book. Everybody go buy this book on Amazon right now. Lucky's Way. That's awesome. Milk chocolate roasted almond. Oh man, so much candy. I know this is gonna be just packed full of candies. Pillsbury hot rolls. Damn right, I'm getting some of them in the Mabella. Krusty's lemon, oh my God, that's gonna be good. You know if Krusty's makes it, it's good. I've never had this, I'm making that today. Yum Earth organic pops. Those are sugar-free, vitamin C. Kids will love those. Ooh, signed picture. This was my team. Oh, look at those doggos. Cute. Those freaking, uh, whatever those big ones are called. They're huge. Clark Griswold. Oh, she had one called Clark Griswold. That's awesome. And he looks like Griswold. That's amazing. Actually, Gus was going to be called Griswold, but I was voted out. Oh, dog treats. Gus, Gus. Oh, it's happy birthday to Gus, too. You want one? <gasps> What's that? What's that? You want one? What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Say please. Say please. <laughs> oh, yummy. He loves those. They smell funny. <laughs> uh, paddle thing for the kids. Love it. More Yum Earth gummy bears. I love the health conscious. I'm not going to lie. Amazing. Tons of these little hair bows for the lunches. That's gonna be really good for the kids. They love those. Love, affection, comfort, given gentle giant dogs. So she trains giant dogs, which is great. My friend, uh, my, my wife's best friend has that same kind of dog you have. It's huge and it likes to, he doesn't bite your arm, but he, he like puts his mouth on your arm and he's like, uh, it's awesome. Um, and he's great. Oh, that's pretty cool. Tic-tac-toe dogs. That's awesome. Dun, 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 dun! I'm getting into that. Everybody take a deep ass birthday breath. I am 43 and I act like I'm 12. Young at heart. Everybody, thank you so much for being a part of this channel, for spending time with me, for laughing with me, for spending time with your family and lives. People literally turn this on at night and they watch it as a family. I like shouldn't let the kids watch it, but you know what I'm saying. But I love you for watching it. Thank you so much for supporting me, for being here, for laughing, for crying, for getting angry with me. Sometimes calling me out when I need to be called out. I really appreciate you guys. Don't ever forget how amazing and valuable and incredible you are. And I will see you tomorrow. December starts. That means the tree is going up and stuff. Yay! <laughs>